Oh, is it still? Sorry, guys. We're here at Ferris Plaza Park. We've got hundreds of people have already showed up. Uh, we're going to show you the Ferris Plaza Park that they're not classy enough to come to his party. They are here to show the mayor of Dallas and the world what freedom looks like. It looks like a bunch of people out here exercising their First Amendment right to peacefully assemble, free speech, sign banners, petition the government for a redress of their grievances. We don't buy the official story and we won't stand by and be silent. Shut everybody out that questions your official story. <laughs> Where are you from? Toronto, Canada. Toronto, Canada. What do you think about the fact that the mayor only wanted to invite residents of Dallas to this part their classy little shindig? Well, it's uh, too big a piece of history just to, uh, you know, just affect people from Dallas. I mean, uh, I've been to another country, gone on a plane, been three and a half hours, been here a few days now. Yeah, if you've ever seen anything like this, they have literally paved the road, the historical path of the president's road, and was shot and killed, and they paved over the exit. Have you seen anything like this? I was, I was there on Monday. So you sound like a thought criminal right now because you definitely aren't buying the official narrative that's been put out. Why do you think they're trying to protect this narrative so much and to the to the point that they will literally alter history in order to do that? It's a lie that just keeps on going. It's after JFK knew the truth and they would pass it on to the next administration and the next administration. And I think it's like a, a, a prerequisite. If you want to take office, you have to follow a certain script. And that's just part of the script is that you would keep this quiet. I mean, why would anything uh, be sealed, you know, for whatever it was, you know, 70 years or something? It's just so that everybody who was involved uh, would be dead by then. Why would there be gag orders on the police and uh, in, uh, you know, in 9-11 unless there was something to hide? So if what happened happened, let's hear about it. And the, the, they, these are the reasons that they have to go to Lentz, is to keep their version contained. Just like behind us, they've got it all cordoned off. I mean, and, and this, this, is, this is it. How do you feel about the fact that you're not classy enough to be, you know, to be invited there? I'm, 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 I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm exactly. Honored. I'm. Honored. I'm happy to be on this I side of the fence. I, I wouldn't go with a an invite because it's just going to be their um, version, and uh, I'd, I'd rather be out here and uh, have some people going. Well, why are these people gathering? Uh, what are they saying? Why are they kicking up a fuss? I'd much rather be, as you say, on this side of the fence. On the truthy side of the fence. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Thought criminal. <laughs> Guilty. Find <laughs> out from someone else. Go over here. <laughs> 
motion. Yes. Let the word go far. Yes. Go front and far like. That the torch has been passed yes. to a new generation of Americans born in this century. Yes. By law. Yes. Disciplined by harsh and bitter peace and unwilling to witness or permit the slow undoing of those human rights to which this nation has always been committed and to which we are committed now at home and around the globe. And so, my fellow Americans, you guys, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Asking God blessing and knowing that he on earth. Asking God blessing. Asking God blessing and knowing that he on earth. God works must truly be our own, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Our freedom. Freedom. And the true American spirit yes. for which we stand. Thank you. Thank you. I just don't want to interrupt her while she's listening. That's great. Definitely not one. Yeah, but let's send it at all. Right. That's the kind of thing. Yeah. All right. Dan, so, Liam, this is the video that's the other. Okay. So why are you out here committing bot crime today? I'm just glad this fell in my lap. I've been waiting to support Alex and everything. I'm very, very appreciative of everything you do. And I want to tell you, you have so there's a saying you have a face for radio you have a face for television but i'm glad you were with the radio because i, I mean thank you you're, you're well thank you out, out here doing what we can we just want to come out and support him and, and, and everything we can do and we really really appreciate it i'm so glad to have i'm so proud to have him back here in dallas again it really means a lot yes, well we're go we weren't gonna come but when they said that we couldn't exercise our first amendment right we were like oh my gosh we got to get there so that's right we can't have we can't have this nonsense i mean it's one thing if they want to have a little private party but it's another thing if they want to say that we can't come, come out and uh, and, and, you know, express our political ideas. It's, it's the most protected, you know, freedom that there is. And it's complete nonsense. So, you know, we have to come out here and do something about it. And I'm glad that Alex and all of you guys have really appreciate all of y'all. Exactly. Glad to have you out here. You look like a thought criminal. Why was it important to you to be out here today? Well, I hear that they're doing controlled speech, and that's a violation of freedom of speech. I want to meet Alex Jones. I admire him so much. We've been listening to him for about two years, listening to him every day. So we're just standing here doing what we believe in. We're going to come tomorrow, too, at 11 o'clock, rain or shine. So, Are you going to hold signs and banners and possibly be arrested or beaten by police? Uh, yes, I'll do whatever it takes, no doubt. <sighs> Ought criminals. <laughs> Look at all of these thought criminals committing crime right right out in front of all right in the open. <laughs> protected by the Constitution. Constitutionally protected criminals. The worst kind. We're so dangerous. <laughs> all we want dangerous. Is peace. All we want is peace. Why do we have to put up with this? You know what I mean? The First Amendment is ours, right? Well you could have peace if you just keep your mouth shut. But I can't do that. It's too hard for me to do. I believe in the truth. I believe in prosperity. I believe in liberty. And I can't do it. It's, 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 it's the truth, man. I'm a truth seeker. Praise the Lord and praise Alex Jones. That's all I got to say. Thank you. Woo! Here's Mr. Jones. Where am I? People don't have that. Anyway, let's go up to, uh, who is this, Paul Revere? We are out here at Ferris Park in downtown Dallas, just south of Daly Plaza. Come join us if you can hear my voice. This is Rob Dew. I just want to grab the mic and, uh, you know, just basically get some people, more people out here. we got a great crowd right now, at least 100 people at this point. There's going to be more, and then we're going to march on to Daly Plaza, Daly Plaza, as they say. And we're going to march on there, and we are going to show these people that we have our freedom of speech, and they can't just every once in a while say, no, you're not going to have it now. We're going to start creating uh, different ordinances to keep you guys from protesting. We are going to go out there and show these people 
what is going on and who the people are and where the real power lies. It does not lie with them in their false power paradigm. It's with us. So all the people out here, and look around. I'm going to pan slowly. This is my camera right here. I'm actually shooting. Look at all these people here, all these freedom-loving people. They're ready. They're ready. Are you guys ready to march? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we're going to march. I'd say in about 30 minutes, we're going to march on D Dealey Plaza, just north of here. We're about three blocks from it, and we're going to do the same thing again tomorrow. So come on down here. This is like a badass dress rehearsal. <laughs> and we're going to do more. We're going to do more, as the Obama phone lady said. All right. Let me hear you scream. Yeah. All right, y'all fired up? Are we going to march? Are we going to stop? Are we going to get our free speech? Yeah. All right, so join us out here now if you are wondering, if you're tuning in to 104.1, get on down here. We're not too far from Daly Plaza, just south of Ferris Park. It's at the corner of Record and Wood. There he is. And now he's here, Alex Jones. No, no, we don't need that. Again, folks, it is, what is it, like 445 Central Standard Time. We're live here in Dallas for the 50th anniversary of the concerted assassination of JFK, and I forgot my headphones. Let me get those headphones on because we're going to be broadcasting live down here, and we're going to march for the First Amendment. I got some good news for everybody here, ladies and gentlemen. They obviously threatened to arrest people last night if we dared hand out leaflets. And I don't want to I don't want to compare us because they went through a lot more to the folks in the civil rights movement, but that's where this is going. Imagine having to get arrested a hundred times you can go eat in a restaurant somewhere. But then think about this. We're here and the and the government acts like we're weird for wanting to be able to assemble on a street corner or hand out flyers without going to jail. I mean it's pretty much the same thing except all of us are being treated like second-class citizens who have no right while that mayor and all these globalists get to sit over there and do whatever they want and put out their official story. Now, now over there is the cheerleader cop lady who was threatening to have us arrested if we didn't leave. I don't know what she's doing over there, but again, if you're tuning in via the InfoWars.com audio streams or video streams, they're all fused at InfoWars.com forward slash show. And again, I want to salute all of you for being here tonight. You are the tip of the spear of liberty. And I know it's hard to come out here on just a short notice, but I'm here to tell you right now what's exciting. Tomorrow is when they we really need everybody to bring somebody with them. There's going to be thousands down here. We're going to march. What's the name of that park we're marching from? Below, below Gardens. That's right. We're going to be marching down and the whole world media is going to be there and they wanted to sit there and say one guy in santa claus killed jfk but we're going to be there and we're already we're already um pointing out that they're restricting free speech we're already pointing out that the mayor is not the dictator of north korea they cannot restrict our free speech so everybody that came out here i know you got to work you got families there's a lot going on I want to salute all of you because, hey, this is the real front lines, not just of American freedom, but worldwide. We stand with the people of Tiananmen Square. Imagine back in 1989, hundreds were killed, thousands wounded for simply to have the right to assemble, just like Lexington and Concord, our ancestors. Every human group has fought for these basic freedoms, and we're not going to let a bunch of bureaucrats or the feds or this mayor tread on us. We are not your slaves. Do not tread on us. Yeah. We're here, ladies and gentlemen, fighting for tangible, real Bill of Rights and Constitution, and we're transmitting on, ladies and gentlemen, 104.1, the people's frequency, and the planes couldn't get up because of the fog, but I'm told, we'll see if there's right a block of them, six of them are hitting the skies tomorrow. Oh, yeah, with 104.1. A lot of folks that are talk show hosts and become famous, they spend their money on big mansions or jet airplanes, not me. I spend it on a whole bunch of Cessnas flying around, 
with uh, JFK Truth Infowars.com. Oh, look at the helicopter. They grounded our planes today. But the, but the, po oh, look, your taxpayer, you know they're watching us. Here, com here comes the helicopter to watch the evil Americans that think that they have a right to assemble and hand out literature. Remember that female police? Cop last night, she said, you don't have a right to do that. We have an ordinance. Well, I said, our First Amendment trumps your BS. <laughs> and listen, I don't want to be confrontational with the friendly police, but I think we should, before we march, go over there and just say hi to them. What do you think? Yeah! I mean, I mean, they are our friends. Well, actually, they haven't given us any trouble yet. Maybe we should just leave them alone. But I do want to say hi to her again, you know, a little bit. So, uh, who knows? Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, you are awesome. Does anybody want to say some words on the bullhorn? I mean, that just need to be the pumpkin head up here talking. Does anybody want to get on air? We're not just on this bullhorn. We are broadcasting all over the world and right here on Dallas on 104.1. And you are Austin. You are awesome coming down here. And folks are listening in Austin as well. All right, who wants to get on the bullhorn? All right, go ahead, ma'am. What's the answer to 1984? Who else wants to get in here? Get in here, get in here, get in here. Pass it on down. I want to say last night that the police that were doing a really good job, the one on the corner directing traffic and everything. Afterwards, I said, thank you. We really, really appreciate it. There's good guys in there. But, you know, there are a lot of good guys in the police department. In fact, we ran into some today saying we're not going to enforce that unconstitutional law. Go talk to the mayor about it. Go ahead and make your point. No, that's exactly right. I mean, we have to enforce the, the good guys. guys the, ones ones that aren't, the, the ones that aren't enforcing the rule of law and the Constitution, they don't deserve our support. Well, that's the same way in our lives with corporations, with businesses, with everybody. Good people got to demand that, that the common sense be followed. Very well said. I want to be clear. We're not attacking the police that are uh, uh, upholding the Bill of Rights Constitution. Go ahead, sir. Here comes the loving helicopter. They breathe the same air we breathe. They're just like us. There's no difference between those globalists and we. They are people just like us. They can be killed just like we can be killed. We're right here to represent power, the power of the people. They'll ever forget this is our country. The country is ran by the people, not the select few. We are the government. Take the power back. 1776 worldwide. Yeah. The important thing that everyone needs to remember is this isn't just about Texas. This isn't just about America. Paul Revere rode to warn of the British coming to confiscate guns. Well, I'm a modern-day Paul Revere coming to warn you that we have globalists that want to take American liberty worldwide. That's right. We're going to stop them. Well, there's all the nice plainclothes police. I want to wave at them. Hi. We know you're listening on 104.1. We need everybody listening on 104.1 to drive around and stop and turn up the radio so everybody can hear the truth of what's going on. And, again, I appreciate everybody's sacrifice being out here tonight. Let's get ready. Let's start marching down there. It's that, it's that way, isn't it? Let's go. We are here to defend the First Amendment. We are here to take back this republic. We are here to point out that the streets belong to the people, not to the establishment. And we are here to exercise the First Amendment because the mayor of this city under federal control announced that there's no First Amendment, we can't hand out flyers, and that we can't march, and that we can't have megaphones, and that we can't do anything. Well, we're here to tell him and Kim Jong-un and Adolf Hitler and Mao Zedong and all the other people that came before him, we have a First Amendment, period, and that's the end of it. And, let, and we are not backing down. We are not giving in to their tyranny any longer we are standing up and standing strong for free speech period not just for this country but worldwide and again i salute everyone that is here tonight and everyone listening to us on the infowars.com video and audio streams as well as everybody who is watching the video streams and listening on 104.1 By the way, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm real tired. I barely slept last night because those trains are dinging and donging all night. And I didn't even want to come to this protest except to meet you great people until I heard the cops had shown up and might try to stop us. And then I had all this energy. Because it's... Because it is so simple. 
It is so absolutely simple that we either stand up for free speech or we lose it, and that's what it comes down to. And again, look, these guys look pretty clear, but our pilots had to go. I can't wait to get our pilots in the air tomorrow with their evil First Amendment. And by the way, by the way, if they try to stop through the FAA, our aircraft going up, normal barnstormers that usually pull, you know, Patron tequila ads and Budweiser ads behind them, if they try to stop our JFK Truth, our JFK Truth, uh, Infowars.com banners, that's an even bigger story if they try to censor the free speech, if they try to stop the American people. We are not going to sit here and be run over. That's why I say resistance is victory, because when you resist, you point out what the tyrants are up to. You point out what they're doing. You point out what the real agenda is, and you force the globalist out into the open in a big way. Listen to that bell toll. That's the bell tolling against the tyrants that their time is over. Crank up this microphone. We are approaching Dealey Plaza. The First Amendment, ghost of the Republic, is approaching Dealey Plaza and a giant throng of corporate whore media establishment propaganda. The ghost of the Republic is approaching. The ghost of George Washington and Paul Revere and all those that fought against the imperial tyranny of Britain is approaching. We don't care what the North Korean dictator, mayor of Dallas says. We don't care what anybody says. We are exercising the First Amendment. We are handing out flyers. We are handing out flyers. We are holding up signs. We are engaging in free speech. And we are taking America back. It's that simple. The mayor of Dallas is not a communist dictator. He may want to be one, but sorry, you're in Texas. You need to go to North Korea, and you can put people in slave camps. If this was North Korea, we would be arrested right now. But no, it is Texas, it is America, and we're taking it back. Again, if you're listening to syndicated radio broadcasts of the Infowars.com streams, you are listening to a live transmission. It's about 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I wasn't going to come to the 50th anniversary, but I had to because a giant army of corporate, state-sponsored, state-run media is bivouacked here on the grassy knoll to project their propaganda and to project their lies. And so we have come here to restore the republic. We have come here to restore free speech. We have come here to restore the First Amendment. We have come here to tell the would-be tyrant mayor of my hometown, Dallas, that the free speech is alive and well, and the people will march, and the people will pamphlet, and the people will speak out, and the people will open carry right there with their AR-15. Liberty is rising! And that's what this is. This is Operation Liberty Rising. Sir, you're carrying an M4. Looks like a scorpion. What is that? All right, well, it doesn't matter. You're carrying an M4223, and you're saying the police tackled you. And I love it. You're sporting the super ultra cool uh, Willie Nelson, yeah. Willie Nelson ponytails and the gun. And I'm sure you won't be without a lovely lady tonight. Now, let's talk about what happened to you. Uh, carrying a gun is not innately an act of violence. It displaces the responsibility onto an object when people are responsible for their actions. And officers and civilians alike need to know this, protect our... Well, they're civilians, too. We're not under military rule yet. Yes, yes, yes. So we're working on this. But uh, they were all aware of the open carry laws here in Texas, but they st still, like, felt very adamant about throwing me down over here, disarming me without asking, then illegally asking me to identify. So I got forced into it, got cuffed. But thankfully, there's going to be video of it from people that were passing by. But you're still an incredible human rights, God-given rights activist. These folks that are openly carrying their guns are the cutting edge of showing folks that it's not evil to protect yourself and be armed. We salute you. Yeah! That's right. That's right.
That's right. We're here to defend the First Amendment, but you better believe the Second Amendment protects all the rest. And that's what it's about. Freedom worldwide. The answer to 1984 and censorship is 1776. for the Bill of Rights and Constitution instead of a bunch of instead of a bunch of communist garbage and globalist garbage we are here promoting liberty we are here promoting freedom we are here promoting the empowerment of the individual <clears throat> the answer to 1984 they're blocking the road for us is 1776 and I gotta give you the good news most of the cops and most of the city workers are very supportive They've told me off record they don't like the censorship of the city and the mayor. The mainstream media has told us off record. I'm talking about executives, you name it. They don't like what's happening. People don't want to be slaves. The average person wants to be free. They love their children. And we're here to restore the First Amendment because the mayor of this city said no demonstrations. Yeah, we're going to turn left right here. The mayor of the great city of Dallas thinks that there's no First Amendment. Well, he can go to hell, and I will go to Texas. 1776. 1776. 1776. Yeah. 1776. 1776. 1776. 1776. 1776. 1776. Yeah. Broadcasting worldwide. 104.1 Liberty Radio. Wayne Madsen. Oh my God, Wayne Madsen. Let's get off the street here. Our NSA whistleblower, Wayne Madsen. Let me get you over here. Get let this crowd in. Ladies and gentlemen, it's total battle of liberty here. As America retakes the Bill of Rights and Constitution, this is so incredibly exciting. Hey, maybe the Dallas cops can play the drum for us. That'd be good. Anyways, we're here promoting the First Amendment because the mayor, there's the mayor tried to claim that there was no First Amendment, no pamphlets, no signs, you, you name it. But the police, by and large, have supported the First Amendment. The city workers have been on our side. People know that we should be able to be on the street and demonstrate against this giant corporate whore media that wants to cram down our throat an official story. This is a load of crap. And one of the biggest NSA whistleblowers in history, quite frankly, bigger than Snowden with real revelations, is here with our live video and audio feed and on our Liberty Freedom Pirate 104.1, getting out the truth here in Dallas. Wayne Madsen, good to see you, Wayne. Good to see you, Alex. Give us a breakdown on this 50th anniversary and what you think of the attempted censorship that is now imploding. Well, I'm actually uh, on the trail of the assassins. I started in Tampa where Santo Traficante provide a cash to the, some of the gunmen, went to New Orleans where they bought their weapons and were uh, hosted by Carlos Marcello. Jim Garrison was on the money. He's been vilified since then. And now on to Dallas. This is the same route that some of the uh, people who shot at the president took. So that's why, uh, why I'm here. And uh, I'm doing what uh, I think a lot of journalists should have done back in 63, 64, and 65. Uh, expend a little bit of shoe leather and not accept that Warren report because that was the real conspiracy theory. Exactly. They say journalism now is repeating government press releases. What is real journalism, Wayne Madsen, who's also a top journalist? Real journalism now is uh, relegated to the, to the web, to blogs. 
people who used to work for the newspapers are now running blogs. They're covering local stories, uh, public utility commission hearings, the things that newspapers should cover, but there's no money in it. So the newspapers got away from it. Cable TV is trash TV. They're, they don't care about any of these issues. They, by the way, we've seen many documentaries now over the last week or so still hyping the Warren report. Keep going. And uh, I think, you know, when you look at the Warren report, uh, Oswald never went before a jury. So how can a, a bunch of people hand-selected by the President of the United States, Lyndon Johnson, have come to any conclusion that Oswald uh, uh, was the sole lone gunman? Exactly. But let me bring up this. I mean, I was born in Dallas, right down the street from here. This has never been an anti-free speech place. It hasn't been perfect, but he said no banners, no handing out signs anywhere in Dallas. I had cops come on video and say, we'll arrest you last night until I got in their face. They backed off, came up with riot police, but I was gone by then. Now they've kind of backed off, but the mayor said, we want to have a, what do you call it, a genteel event? He used some term like that in the Dallas Morning News where we want this to be classy. That was it. And, 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 and you know, not talk about history and things. Just make it about JFK. Well, he was murdered. He would want us to speak out. What do you make? about the attempt in the last year to shut this down. And I'm telling you, it's totally backfired. Now all they're covering, now all that's being talked about right now. Folks, folks, move over for the police. Move over for the police so they can uh, move over for the police so the citizens can walk by. Everybody just move over a little bit. They're working with us. Let's just move over. What, what do you make of this attempt at censorship? I think if the mayor of Dallas in 19, November 22nd, 1963, had the kind of security here at Dealey Plaza that we see today, President Kennedy would have not been shot to death, and he would have gone on to be reelected in 64, gotten us out of Vietnam. So it's nice, uh, nice to hear about security at Dealey Plaza 50 years later. Where the heck was that security back on November 22nd, 63, when, when it seemed like everybody was in Dealey Plaza, the, uh, the people who were here uh, were uh, special forces people, mobsters. Uh, CIA people, paid assassins, they were all here. Uh, where was the mayor then saying you have to have a special pass to be on Dealey Plaza? But the issue of them unprecedentedly saying only if you agree with the official story can you be part of it. I mean, that is like Berlin Wall, North Korea, Wizard of Oz behind the curtain crap. And I, I mean, what are they thinking? It's blown up in their face. Manufactured history. It's uh, the last... It's like Soviet airbrushing. Yeah, last respite of, uh, of, the, of a dictator. Of, of a, you know, so, yeah, that's, we, we see it on every occasion uh, from uh, Iran-Contra, the Kennedy assassination. But I just want to say, I was nine years old when this happened, but this was the defining event of my life and everyone around my age. We watched it, and uh, we had Vietnam. Uh, Kennedy was replaced by a, a, a total crook who probably had something to do with the assassination, replaced by replaced by another crook, Richard Nixon, who resigned in disgrace, replaced by the first unelected president in the nation's history, replaced by somebody who tried to do good but was forced out because of a, uh, a contrived uh, hostage uh, scandal or hostage situation in Iran, replaced by a grade B movie actor, replaced by one of the perps who was standing right over here at the, at the uh, school book depository looking this direction. George H.W. Bush was then a junior agent for the CIA, and he was replaced of course, by uh, a Slick Willie, uh, a philandering, uh, crooked politician uh, from Arkansas, replaced by Dixie Mafia, replaced by a, f a barely functional uh, a, a, a person, George W. Bush, replaced by a, a, a CIA manufactured test tube baby. <laughs> well, Wayne Madsen, you're absolutely right. Any other points you want to add to folks? We obviously want to talk to you tomorrow when you're out here. Well, I think uh, it's it's good to see everybody here. Uh, it, it just I think one thing. This is my first time here at Dealey Plaza. Uh, the size, the small size of the area, is something that I you d just didn't fathom. Oh, and you're behind the knoll. You're like 20 yards from Kennedy. One thing you never see is that the federal building over there, which I assume was here then, it looks like a very old building. That was where the FBI, Secret Service, every federal agency, CIA, all had offices over there. I was here at the time. Yeah. In direct in direct sight of of this uh, the scene here. Where were those people who were committed to protect the president, when, and when all this activity was going on, you had the federal building right over there. That's right. And it, well, it, I mean, they called the security off. We, we've proven it's an inside job. The power structure's failed. My point is, we're here because the First Amendment's been violated. This is your first time here. I've been here hundreds of times. I grew up right here down the street. It's, I drove down here, you know, to school every day. 
It is outrageous that they would try to say we have no free speech. But we took it back. We've marched twice. We're marching again tomorrow morning, uh, 11 a.m. We meet down at the park at uh, Dealey uh, Gardens or at uh, Belo Gardens. Then we come down. We're going to come down in front of the international media and say we don't approve of the state-run media literally behind the grassy knoll. That's where they're camped. Beaming lies and propaganda. And we've talked to folks that are allowed in of the 5,000 ticket holders. They've been told you cannot have political views or talk about history when you're in there. A literal, literal control. Let me say, uh, listening to a lot of the t telephone calls that Kennedy made that, are, that you can hear now, they've been recorded for history. If, if J John F. Kennedy were here today and saw this situation over here with this uh, football game announcer, the only thing missing is the Anheuser-Busch ads and the sponsorship. Kennedy, I'm sure, would have said, what silly bastard dreamt up this, this uh, garbage over here? That's what he would have said. I'm, I'm Absolutely. This is, this is a giant Hunger Games production. Wayne Madsen, we'll talk to you soon, brother. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Where are you going to be at later? Uh, I'm at the conference tomorrow at the uh, Aloft Hotel. Oh, we'll, we'll hook up. Great job, brother. Yeah. All right, Wayne Madsen, running into great people. Again, I want to salute all the listeners that came out here to do this. Let's march and take the grassy knoll where the CIA assassins blew Kennedy's head off. Let's do it. They said no freedom of assembly. They said no freedom of the press. They said we had to buy their official story or we'd be arrested. Well, the police aren't following their orders to shut down free speech. America is still free, and we are here, and we are done with all the attempted censorship. We are here to restore this constitutional republic with this live transmission. This is a live original transmission at Infowars.com here in Dallas, Texas for the 50th anniversary of the public execution by criminal elements of the shadow government. And we are here. Now they want to execute our free speech, and the people are aware of it, and no one is going along with it. Let's go occupy the grassy knoll. Let's go up here right now and let the system know that we are aware of what they're up to, and I'm going to bullhorn the prostitute media across the way trying to put out their official story that Kennedy was killed by Santa Claus and a lone bullet. Again, we're broadcasting worldwide. I'm here at Dealey Plaza up on the grassy knoll about to bullhorn the giant uh, prostitute media center. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, look at all the wannabe elitists who've all agreed that Kennedy was shot by Santa Claus and a lone bullet. They are less than 10% of the population that still believes the official fairy tale. And look at them all sitting up there right now right over there like they're elitist like they're powerful like they're better than us because i can look at them and see how the corporate whore state-run media is laughing at american citizens out here who were told they'd be arrested if they demonstrated who were told they'd be arrested if they handed out flyers last night they told us this we were told we'd be arrested for free speech in Texas, in USA. And now the corporate whore media will say the conspiracy theorists don't like being censored. Aren't they bad? They should just shut up and do whatever the corporate whore media says. <laughs> we're here to tell you something, you sellout, state-run media, New World Order trash. We are sick and tired of your lies, telling us that the Federal Reserve is really federal, telling us that Obamacare is a great deal, <clears throat> telling us that one lone shooter killed Kennedy. We're sick and tired of the private corporate coup against this country that's anti-free market and anti-individual, and we're here in defiance of your state-run whore media taking your talking points and going along with the official story where you all think you're going to be here and take over the media and put out your propaganda. <clears throat> we have come here in defiance of your attacks on free speech and the desperate, collapsing, state-run media that thinks that we are going to shut up and put up with them. 
You wait till tomorrow when thousands of people march down from Below Gardens and your state-run media and let you know absolutely clear that the state-run media is a fraud and your attempt to block free speech and alternate views of what happened 50 years ago has failed! <laughs> the answer to your censorship, the answer to your tyranny is 1776! 1776! Amendment and citizen journalism and free speech is rising. And we're taking Dallas back, and we're taking Texas back, we're taking America back, and we're taking the world back from you fascist bastards. <laughs> what you see here tonight is a desperate attempt to, to uphold the collapsing Humpty Dumpty facade that is the mainstream narrative on what supposedly really happened. Your fraud is over. Well over 80% of Americans, Europeans, Africans, Latin Americans, Asians, you name it, know that the murder of John F. Kennedy 50 years ago tomorrow was an inside job carried out by the so-called security state and the military industrial complex that Eisenhower warned us about. Why does it the so-called mainstream whore media tell folks why we're here? Because we, because they lie. And because they don't want you to know the mayor said he would have us arrested and they had all the cops and riot police ready last night and today. But just like in Ceausescu's Romania or East Germany, the police stood down because they want to live in a free country. This is Operation Liberty Rising. Liberty Rising. Liberty Rising. Liberty Rising. Liberty Rising. Liberty is rising worldwide. You know, I don't want to get us all in trouble, but they've got all that set up for their staged event tomorrow where they think everybody will buy into the official story of the lone gunman. But today I walked around over there. It's wide open. We just marched right through. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm thinking about right now? I'm thinking about I'm thinking about going up there in the bleachers with all the corporate whore media. But you know what? We don't even need to do that. We're right across the street from them. Let's march down to the parapet and look up at their fortress of lies, their fortress of fraud, their fortress of deceit, and bullhorn up to them and let them know that we're done watching them and done listening to them. We know who you work for. We know who you are. We know what your mission is. We know what your game plan is. And we are here right now in defiance of the corporate prostitute, state-run media. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we are here and we are free. Listen up. Listen up, prostitute media. Listen up, state-run media. You listen up, and you listen good. You go ahead and you put out your lies. You go ahead and put out your fraud that a lone gunman with the help of the Keebler Elves and Santa Claus killed Kennedy. And you go ahead and cover up the mayor trying to say there's no free speech, and you cover up the mayor trying to say we couldn't hand out pamphlets so you could have your big lie all to yourselves. Only 16% of the American people trust you. 
and soon it'll be nobody. Everybody hates you. Everybody knows who you are. Everybody knows you're a fraud. Again, for worldwide listeners, we are bullhorning up at the literal whore media, the literal sellout globalist media that is up there swearing to only say that Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone, working with the city of Dallas to make sure no real media or no activist or witnesses. I mean, look at that mainstream media uh, 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 anchor. He probably makes no money. He's a nobody. He's on a power trip. His media, his ratings are imploding. But he's standing up there looking at us like we're dogs. Like we're dogs, like we're nobodies. Hey, you know who we are? We are people aware of the New World Order horror media, a bunch of Decepticon scum enemies of this country, and we're sick of your crap, and we know you're the enemy, and we know you're a pack of lying filth, and we're sick of your garbage, and we know you're covering up for people that murdered Kennedy. You're fake. You're an app. No more lies. 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 These despicable control freaks in the Decepticon whore media think if they call us conspiracy theorists, that's the definition of people that question known liars, that it hurts us. Wow. That discredited fraud state-run media calls us a label. Call us heretics. Call us bad. We know the truth about your staged event. And you will never prop up the lie of killing Kennedy. And now that you've tried to censor us with that disgusting tyrant pig of a mayor, we are taking this entire operation over with all of your cowardly, disgusting sycophants. <laughs> Liberty is rising worldwide. <laughs> and we are aware of your disgusting activity. Just because your filthy North Korean dictator mayor said that we had no free speech and we'd be arrested and that we couldn't hand out flyers because the whore media and the federal feds run by foreign banks said so. We're here and we've taken over Dealey Plaza and we are getting the news and the information out instead of what the dying corporate state-run whore media wanted. You wanted to control everything and use the police to shut us down, but you haven't shut anything down. You haven't shut anything down. Free speech is here. We've defeated you. We beat you. No more lies. No more lies. state-run media is dying. The state-run media is collapsing. The state-run media will not shut down our free speech and can literally go to North Korea if they don't like it and live under total slavery. We are not submitting to your tyranny. We're not shutting up. We're not backing down. We wouldn't even be here if you hadn't have tried to say we couldn't hand out flyers or have free speech. Well, you can go straight back to whatever dictatorship it is you came from. Because we are here 
in your stinking face. Corporate whore media, go to hell. Corporate whore media, go to hell. 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 No more lies. Your profits are gone. Your viewers are gone. You're dead. It's over. Your fraud is dead. You are dead. You are dead. Your political fraud is over. Your lies are over, scum. So go ahead and laugh all day. Your lies and your fraud are over. Just because you wear some candy-ass suit doesn't mean you have three million listeners a day like me. You have nothing, scum. You have nothing, control freak scum. And we are here to declare your defeat and the beginning of the end of your tyranny. Hey, Alex. Hey, Alex, uh, what's the answer to 1984? The answer to 1984 is 1776. 1776! 1776! 1776! 1776! 1776! 1776! 1776! Your tyranny isn't liberal. Your tyranny isn't conservative. It's tyranny! It's authoritarian BS! And we're done with you! Humanity! Humanity is rising! Humanity is rising! Humanity is rising! Humanity is waking up! Humanity is tired of being pushed around. We're tired of having a bunch of managed men behind the curtain put out their official fraud. You mainstream media people are a joke! You are a fraud. You are an anachronism, and you know it. And you work for the foreign banks that have hoarded this country out long enough and tried to butcher our Bill of Rights and Constitution. We are done. We are tired of it, and we're not putting up with any more of it. Liberty is rising. 104.1 is the people's voice, where you'll hear this transmission and more. 104.1, to get true human intelligence from the grassroots libertarian lovers of America and freedom. You globalists push too far. Freedom, 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 freedom. Word to these people. Yeah, everybody in Dallas who's on 104.1 drive around Dealey Plaza in circles, cranking up the radio show as high as possible. Everyone listening to 104.1 in Dallas drive around Dealey Plaza and other areas with the radio cranked up with the truth going out because liberty is rising. Think about what's happened here today. The mayor and the globalists thought they would have a big propaganda spectacle to tell us that one lone guy killed Kennedy. But instead, we defied their threats of arresting us, and now the police haven't followed their orders to arrest us because they don't want to live in North Korea 
And now, if they would have arrested us, it would have been a bigger issue anyways. We win either way by resisting this tyranny. They arrest us. It's a national news story. We point out the tyranny. They don't. We point out the tyranny of not letting us into these events and putting out the official story. Resistance is victory. Uh, hey, let's, let's talk all about how they're getting rid of the X. The X on the street, what happened to that? Well, they want everything to look pretty. <laughs> Listen, here's the deal. We're all going to meet at Milo Gardens tomorrow at about 11, 11.30. We're going to march down here with a moment of silence and let them know that we're aware of what they're doing and what is happening. And I want to salute everybody that has come out here tonight. You have done an incredible job. Let's let them know. Let's chant, down with state-run media. Down with state-run media. Down with state-run media. Down with state run 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 media. No more lies. No more lies. No more lies. No more lies. March down here at noon. We're going to meet at the gardens, the Below Gardens, 11 a.m. tomorrow. I salute you. God bless you all. Thank you. All right, for the network and everybody else out there in 104.1 listeners, I suggest, please, no, listen, okay, listen, I suggest that everybody out there. free people the free people the individual that's what we're here god bless you all again folks uh, i suggest the network or whatever you want to do you might take this file that's been live the last hour trim the first where we didn't know we were live on air for about 10 minutes and rebroadcast this until tomorrow morning or you can just restart at the beginning of the show wherever you want do it however you want but go to retransmission now if anything happens tonight we'll be doing live streams and starting about 11 a.m tomorrow with David Knight filling in up there at the command base in Austin, or down there in Austin. We will be live marching down here to the 50th anniversary with literally over 100 satellite trucks. Now, it was like 50 today. This is amazing. Is the network saying something? Sure, sure. You can do that, or you can just go back to today's radio show. That was pretty powerful, too. Okay. And then we'll be back at 11 a.m. Uh, tomorrow, Central, if something happens. There's live streams, live feeds at InfoWars.com, 104.1 here. But I want to thank everybody. I want to thank the crew for working extra hard. But tomorrow is the big push. 
And again, all of you are awesome. I got to go before my voice goes out. So uh, let's call Richard. I'm just going to walk back. Thank you, Alan. And uh, that's it. No, thank you. Thank you. Hey, one more. One more growl out there. Freedom! 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 They hate that sound. Freedom! People coming together for justice and liberty. Look at that giant tyrant poster. My goodness. That is that is defiling the dear leader. Oh, my gosh. All right, we're going to go ahead and just for our own security, we're going to keep streaming. About five minutes, let's walk down. Oh, there it is. Get a shot of that, Josh. For TV viewers at Infowars.com forward slash show. You see the video feeds. They're all up. Impeach Obama. Impeach Obama. That's right. And impeach all the globalist scum. Arrest them. Impeach all the globalist scum. Arrest them all for their crimes. Yeah. Go out and educate folks. Keep fighting. All right. We're now going to walk out of here. Still doing live streams. With uh, God bless you, brother. And then uh, we're going to we're going to walk back down here. And then we're going to end our transmission. Our car's parked down here. We're going to drive over to the, the La Quinta we're staying at. And then uh, we are going to continue with this. But I tell you, I didn't have any energy until I got out here. And it is so awesome to see all these great families with their children and to see all these other wonderful people that are out here in defiance of tyranny. It is so incredibly exciting that people everywhere are aware of what's going on and are waking up. So, again, absolutely, totally incredible to feel the free human heart uh, that, that unites us all around basic common sense and basic liberty. This is what it's all about. This is what freedom is all about. I hope not leading people the wrong way. Can we cross over here? Or not lead us the wrong way? Well, I don't want to get you guys in trouble. Which way is everybody going? Is everybody going back that way? What's the best way to go? Where are we trying to go? Well, I'm just, I'm splitting. Well, let's go back this way. Come on. I don't want to. I look like Bozo the Clown out here. 11 a.m. Yeah, we're going to march from uh, Below Garden. That's what happens when you start fo following the pumpkin head. Hey, how you doing, brother? Everybody's awesome that came out. God bless you all. We're just out here. We can't cross over there. So we're going to cross down here. But again, great to see everybody out here in defense of free speech. We don't have free speech. We have absolutely nothing. And that's why we're here. Let everybody know that we are not going to let them push us around. And again, every time we stand up, we have victory. Sorry. The reason we become slaves is we act like slaves and we lay down to this corrupt system. But to, to the hundreds of folks that came out here tonight, amazing job. We didn't plan this, but just a few days ago. And it's been a smashing success for freedom. And, again, it's very, very humbling to be out here with everybody. It's uh, just simply amazing. God bless you. What time is it right now? There's a congressman. 5.36. This has only been going about an hour. Hey, brother. How you doing? Oh, nice. Handsome son. Good to meet you. God bless you. Wow. So humbling, these great people. I tell you, meeting liberty lovers. Thank you. Thank you. Came from Australia. God bless you. Wow. Love to go there sometime. Wow. So humbling. So humbling, so humbling to be here. God bless you. So amazing to be here with all these people. We all just want to be free. We don't want to be run by a bunch of combines who don't just want to control things. They want to dumb us down. They want to make us poor. They want to absolutely take over our world. 9-11 is an inside job, brother. Good to see you again. Thanks for all the help. Just amazing people. The people are here literally occupying with liberty. The grassy knoll, the entire Dealey Plaza, no one I've run into buys the official story. It is simply mind-blowing that the establishment thinks they can continue to hoodwink everybody. You can fool some of the people some of the time. Not my kids either. Awesome. That's why they look so healthy. Good job, brother. Uh, so exciting. I have to give my kids shots. It's not that vaccine technology couldn't actually help people. Like you can't trust the system. It's been caught doing all these secret Why tests. Why do you want to be in Dealey do Plaza that. today? But again, we're live. Why did you want to be in Dealey Plaza? There's one car. I wanted to be in Dealey Plaza. Who are you with, ma'am? 
LA Times. I'm Molly. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Hi. Oh, from Houston. Yes, sir. I'm oh, the mayor to meet you. How are you doing? Good to see you. We're here because the mayor tried to say he couldn't hand out pamphlets. We're here because the mayor tried to say that people couldn't demonstrate. We're here because they threatened to arrest us last night handing out stuff. We have it on video. Or give us tickets if we didn't leave. And so we're here to say this is not North Korea yet. And there's a First Amendment. So that's what we're here to do is to basically enforce that because if we don't, we'll lose it all. I like it at the Civil Rights Movement. People had to get arrested a hundred times at lunch counters to be able to eat somewhere. Oh, hell, can't eat somewhere? That's horrible and bad if you're a certain color. What about nobody, they said, could hand out flyers or, or do stuff or, or, or talk about a, uh, what happened to Kennedy? I mean, they want to shut us up so only the mainstream media uh, can sit there and put out their propaganda from all the different mouthpieces. So we're here breaking that Berlin Wall of disinformation. And you all are going to have an open mic as well on Rowan Street or something, another event after this? I know there's a bunch of events going on. We've had a lot of open mics. We had some last night. We had some already tonight. In fact, we can have an open mic right now if folks want. The point is, is that they said they would arrest us if we marched. They said they would arrest us if we handed out flyers or had signs. They say 75 street feet from any major street. Well, that's basically anywhere. And so, I mean, that's why I came here. A year ago, the mayor said, we will not have any conspiracy theorist. I mean, someone that questions any heretics. We will not have any heretics in Dallas. We will have our official story. And it is going to completely backfire on them and has already backfired on them. Would you consider yourself a conspiracy theorist? Do you like that term or not like that term? Well, I am a conspiracy theorist. I mean, if I open my milk up and it stinks real bad and tastes bad, I go, wow, that's rotten milk. But I'm not allowed to have an opinion about known things. So... I'm an extremist because I would throw the milk away. A, a normal person, if they were told by the media that milk's fine, even if it was like green, they would drink it. Even if their kids got sick, they would drink the milk. So if an official story doesn't add up, and then I disagree with the government and the mainstream media, the state-run media, then I'm called a conspiracy theorist. That's the new heretic. That's the new, oh, don't listen to him, don't listen to her. Uh, it's a way to just not have the debate, just say, oh, that person can't be listened to. They have their own ideas. So I'm very proud of that label because when people see that, state-run media has about 16% approval rating uh, in the uh, Gallup polls and others, 16 17% depending on the poll, and they still just say conspiracy theorist. So that's almost a badge of honor when they give that to you. I mean, I would imagine if Hitler would have had a term like conspiracy theorist, he would have called his detractors that. And what do you think about the JFK assassination? What is your take on that? I mean, we know. I've interviewed LBJ's mistress. I've interviewed his lawyer, Bar McClellan. Uh, I've, I've looked at the House uh, committee on the assassination investigation. I, I mean, I've looked at all the evidence, and the official story is a fairy tale. No matter if they trot Bugliosi or Tom Hanks out, tell us how great it is, um, the, the official story is a fairy tale. Just like Gulf of Tonkin. I mean, that was declassified 20-something years ago that it was staged. They didn't officially declassify it all until 2004. I'm still called a conspiracy theorist for saying Gulf of Tonkin was not real. They get us into Vietnam. So whatever. It's the media countering on the public's ignorance to say someone, when we catch the establishment in the lie, catch them in fraud, all they can do is just say, oh, that's a conspiracy theorist. You know, it's like with Obamacare. We said... Look, it's designed to double your rates, written by big corrupt insurance companies, to shut down their competition, consolidate the market, lower the care. It's not going to work. It's not designed to work. People said, that's a conspiracy theory. Well, now, I guess I'm a conspiracy theorist. I'm proven right. What do you think the crowd out here says about that, about conspiracy theorists and, and how many people believe? I mean, most polls show over 80%, some higher, don't believe the official story. I mean, even the Secretary of State says... He doesn't think Oswald acted alone. Trust him, the Russians would do it. Kennedy was stopping war with the Russians. Why were they killing? He'd made peace deals with them. The military-industrial complex that Eisenhower warned us of killed him. But I guess the general and the president said, look out for a technological corporate elite controlling the military-industrial complex. That's his full 21-minute speech. And I guess he was wrong, too. He said, watch out for a government takeover. We see military takeovers and shadow government takeovers in Latin American com countries, African countries, Asian countries, European countries, but it can't happen here, not in America. That's a conspiracy theory. So we're just talking about the real world, and if you live in the real world and not fantasy land, you're called a conspiracy theorist, and that's all the establishment's got, and I hope they keep using that tactic because it's not working.
Well, how much of this do you think is going to get out to the rest of the country or to the international media? Because there's a lot of media that's up there sort of camped out in the parking lot. That's right. They camp out in the parking lot and they get press releases from the government. And then they vomit them back and regurgitate them. And the local media vomits it back out. They're repeaters. We're already talking to millions of people on Infowars.com. We're already on syndicated radio. We're already uh, rolled in a microtransmitter in here. Uh, to be on the air in Dallas, because I used to be on the Dallas on a commercial station, not anymore. They sold it. So now I'm on uh, 104.1 right now uh, to, to, to get it out just for three days. This was an act of defiance, just another little tidbit. Uh, so, 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 so we're doing all of that. We are the media. We're just as important as so-called dinosaur state-run media or kleptocrat corporate-owned media. And, and, and we don't have a history of being paid off and run by them, and we're, and we're more accurate. And... We, we tell people what we really think and what we stand for. Freedom. We have a bias. It's freedom. It's justice. It's liberty. And so we're very proud of the fact that we're open about our views and, and what we do. And so we're very happy uh, that the corporate media still thinks they're dominant and still sits up there, you know, getting drunk over there, doing nothing, waiting for government press releases. We're out here actually with the people actually covering what's happening, actually looking at the violations of free speech and changing history to where we just won't be intimidated by the cops because the mayor said so and just turn everything over to the prostitute media. Well, and Kennedy talked about some of that during his presidency, right, about government transparency. And what do you sort of see his legacy as? He warned. In fact, there's famous speeches. I think one he gave at Columbia and a couple others uh, where he warned about monolithic groups and how communism was a monolithic conspiracy, but that we could have our own conspiracies here at home of powerful groups getting together who didn't want a free country. Why not just have a powerful group take the government over, shut down your competition? That's monopoly capitalism. He was warning about that. It's just as big a threat as communism. Any monopoly centralized system. And so, yes, Kennedy was going to abolish the Federal Reserve. He signed the executive order to begin it. He was looking at ending Vietnam. He'd been a hawk. He'd bought into all of it. And then they came into him with L.L. Lemon, sir, and the Joint Chiefs and said, we want to blow up U.S. military bases and blame it on Cuba. And he said, man, you're fired. I'm not going to stage a false flag and, and, and go to war with them and then the Russians. Uh, Curtis LeMay wanted to nuke Russia and have a nuclear war. That's what Dr. Strange loves about. It was made right after Kennedy was killed. It's all on record. That movie's like bland corporations, ran corporation. And that's basically what they wanted to do. And Jack T. Ripper is an archetype of Curtis LeMay. Kubrick's on record. He had all the insiders telling him what was going on. So Kennedy said, no, I don't want nuclear war. I want to have grandkids. It wasn't perfect either. I don't romanticize Kennedy. He, you know, his dad was a gangster, all the rest of it. But he like, didn't want to have nuclear war. He wasn't insane. So they killed him. Real simple. What do you plan to do tomorrow? Do you think that there's sort of a follow-up to do while people are still here? Do you feel like people will be watching? Oh, yes, we're going to have live streams, audio streams, my syndicated radio show. I'll be broadcasting from on the street, walking around like this, not in some ivory tower getting government press releases. And we're going to march down here from Below Gardens, kind of the local establishment media around here that pushes the official fairy tale that Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone with Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and Santa Claus. And so we're going to be marching down from there to here, we're going to march at 1130, get down here at about 12, and uh, then basically let the establishment media, the government crones, all of them uh, know the dinosaur media that we're not going along with their fraud. So, again, we're here for First Amendment first and foremost, and then the whole Kennedy cover-up secondary. But the fact that they tried to restrict us, as the mayor publicly did, I had cops tell me last night, we're going to arrest you or we're going to ticket you if you don't leave. And then today I had police say, we're not going to enforce that now because we stood up to them. They want to just corner us by ourselves. I've talked to my reporters who've been by themselves. I've talked to other people. When they're by themselves, they come over and say, you can't hand that out. But when we're here with coverage, they back off like wolves. I mean, this is like North Korea or Tiananmen Square in the making. If you get any quote in there, I mean, think about the democracy demonstrators and what happened to them. We all knew that was wrong. They just wanted to peaceably assemble. They tried to tell us we couldn't do this. They'd like to make this communist China. So... What what will be the correct response tomorrow if you feel like there's sort of a crackdown on things? How would you like people, you know, people who listen to you, the people who are out here to respond to that? If there's a crackdown, I'm going to get on an emergency broadcast and ask people to rally to me, and then we're going to go over the barriers like Tiananmen Square. Now, if they leave us alone and we can just come down and point out that they're having a controlled little fish tank in there of their own disinformation and propaganda, 
and acting like that's the only views in the world. If they let us march down here like we've done now, now the police are listening to us locally on radio right now, 104.1. If they behave semi like a free country, then that's fine. I don't have any uh, desire to climb barricades or jump over or pull a stunt or parachute into the event. But if they try to block us, then we will aggressively engage in, uh, quote, civil disobedience against their unlawful edicts that we have no free speech. Because the First Amendment trumps the mayor believing he's the dictator of Dallas. Well, and when you, were you guys chanting 1776 earlier? What was the significance of that? 1776 just means restoration of liberty, revolution against tyranny, against King George, a rediscovering of American values. It's a libertarian, freedom-based chant. And it is like high noon to the vampires of government. <laughs> and is that how you would describe your your sort of view or the view you guys are expressing? Actually? Yeah, we like we like George Washington. We like Thomas Jefferson. But we also like people like Martin Luther King and anybody that stood up against tyranny and made a change for humanity. We, we, we root for the little guy, the little lady. We... We want free speech. We want rights. We want freedom. We want a bunch of offshore corporations running our country and trying to get rid of our Bill of Rights and Constitution and banker bailouts of trillions of dollars and trying to take our guns and trying to impoverish us for political control under Agenda 21. We know there's an agenda to enslave us. It's on record. They've written white papers. We know they're the enemy, and we recognize it, so we're saying, okay, you want to fight? You're going to get one, you bastards. We know we're under attack. These corporations see anybody with any individualism with a garden in their backyard as a threat to go into their slave mart. We're done. And we're not perfect either, but we're reaching towards freedom. We're trying to be better. We're trying to be freer. We want our children to have a future, and we're not stopping. We're not turning back, and we're not afraid. We are only afraid of kneeling to these people and letting them put chains on us and having their way with us, these sycophantic, degenerate globalists. I mean, my God, they can't even put movies out that criticize communist Chinese government or Saudi Arabia now in the U.S. This country is totally censored and controlled. I mean, we are just absolutely a whorehouse for foreign special interest and corporate interests to do whatever the hell they want, and we're done. And we're not going to make it easy anymore. We're not going to roll over anymore. We're done. We know what's going on. We're through. We want to be free. It's over. It ain't going to be easy conquering us. It's going to be hard, and we have only begun to fight. They want us to surrender. I'll close with the words of John Paul Jones, the founder of the U.S. Navy. I have only begun to fight, and I salute you all for being here. I'll be around tomorrow if you want to talk. I'm too tired. Good, good to meet you. Sure. I mean, I've, been meaning, I've been meaning to do it. Alex Jones speaks the truth. Alex Jones speaks the truth. Come on. Alex Jones. Yeah, I've been meaning to set that up. I've been too busy. Good to meet you. All right, come on. Thank you very much. Come on, guys. Here we go, folks. Engaging in evil free speech, gathering on the streets in America. Can you imagine a more disgusting evil sight than Americans involved at night, walking around talking about freedom and truth instead of talking about NFL? Can you imagine how evil it is out in this beautiful evening in the cool air and the sky with all of our fellow people yes. together loving each other in freedom? Oh, my gosh. It is sorry, brother. It, it, it is so evil. It is so horrible that we're actually standing up for freedom. It's so horrible that we're actually involved. It's so horrible that we're informed. It's so horrible that we defied all the intimidation. You all defied the intimidation. You're the people that weren't scared, and I salute you. You are incredible. And I tell you, I also salute the crew we've got back in Austin working late with their families and all the things that they're doing. And they'll be back in early tomorrow morning to help run the show and coordinate all these feeds. We could not be doing it without them. Okay, great. I think we're supposed to go now. Here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to end this live transmission here in just the next few minutes. And, uh, again, this is historic, and I tell you, every time that we stand against tyranny, go or stop. I'm talking to the police. Uh, uh, thank you. Every time we stand against tyranny, all we have is victory. Every time we resist, 
whether it's Alamo open carry marches or whether it's free speech marches or private property marches, all we have is victory. A nation of sheep will be ruled by wolves. A nation of free people will be ruled by common sense and the law. And that's what we're here to do. We're here in the name of that T-shirt that man's wearing, legalize freedom. Legalize freedom. Stop demonizing it. Stop saying it's bad. Stop going after it. Stop acting like we're evil because we don't believe known congenital liars. We are awake, and there's no going back now. And this has been so historic and so wonderful. 11 a.m. Central, 12 noon Eastern, Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com. If you're out there listening, folks, you are the resistance. It's up to you. You've got to know and you've got to understand that serving the power structure will destroy you in the end because this power structure is desperately wicked and desperately degenerate and desperately mentally ill and hyper-dominant. They are sicko control freaks who must be defeated. And they will be defeated.